I got to go back to church again too. God is all up everywhere, but they need to accept God. That's what you should say. Dear God, please do not take my mother from me anytime soon. I am not ready, God. I do not know what I would be without her. She has been my mother and my father since she pushed and pulled me through her earth. The way a jagged little pill shaves its way around the mouth of history. I love my mother like I love breathing air. Even when she bruises me with her words, with her rage. God, my mom has forever bruised me with her rage. When I was a horribly lonely only child, I did not understand why. She behaved as she did when she, when she got, did, got, I'm sorry, when she behaved as she did, I'm getting emotional already, y'all. When she behaved as she did, but when she got sick, Lord, really sick, a few years back, I was terrified of losing my mother. I had her speed down to the hospital there in Jersey and sprinted me as fast as I could to be with her. Lord, Ma said it was the first time she had been in the hospital since she had given birth and there she was flailing like a caught fish on a frosty metal table in an off-white hospital gown. Her belly had swollen so big it looked like she was praying with me another time. And that, God, is how it began. Our regular trips to the grocery store, because mom could not move without immense pain, without waddling like a penguin in the middle of a summer hurricane. God, my mother does not know I often walk behind her on purpose as she grabs a pound of hamburger, a bag of sugar, a loaf of bread, a box of cereal, aisle after aisle, my heart spills a bucket of suds, aisle after aisle, my eyes spill two buckets of suds, like that day she slid as a baseball runner would onto the floor, Lord, in her senior citizen apartment from her favorite chair and it took my entire back strength to boost my mother's plump frame to get her up to her recliner and before I could God there we were my mother and I there we were one two three four five seconds her on the floor me on the floor when she and I stared at each other as we may have stared at each other when I was a scared baby and her a scared young woman and in that very moment, I wanted to tell my mother what she meant to me, but could not, because my mother and I have never hugged, have never kissed, have never said, I love you. And here I was, the caretaker of a person who did not care to be touched by anyone. Dear God, my mother's legs drop bad. Mom religiously rubs ointments on them like she's scrubbing grime from her bathtub. She repeatedly refers to herself as being sick. She says she's an old woman. She says she's tired, God. So, so tired. She prays to you, God, from can't see to can't see. She says, Lord, you will work a supernatural miracle and heal her body, Lord. She says, blood of Jesus. And she thinks of it like Jesus fixing to be Superman and jump off that prickly cross. My mother's altar is the shopping cart at the supermarket. She baptizes the handle with one of her wipes. She cusses at me when I ask her to pull her mask over her nose. She smushes a warm black purse into the child seat. I, I once drooped my skinny legs. She clutches tight the cart. God. She says it helps her balance. Ma, my mom, my mama, my mama is afraid to fall. 
mind ain't gonna fall in front of no strangers. My mother's power is in the steering of the shopping cart. She pushes it forward the way a truck driver inches their tractor through bumper to bumper traffic. She wobbles slowly from the cart when she spots an item she needs, Lord. Three peaches, four red apples, five bananas, a package of chocolate chip cookies, a bunch of collard greens, a carton of orange juice. Dear God! I straighten the crooked cart that Ma always leaves in the middle of an aisle. She says to me, as if I'm six years old again, hold my pocketbook, watch my pocketbook. My mother chides me loudly when she wobbles from the cart. Smashed inside her pocketbook are those wipes and tissue and cash and coins and her food stamp card and clip coupons. God, lots of clip coupons. And her crinkled grocery list, neatly written in blue ink. Ma has the list mainly in her head. But sometimes, God, she glances at it when her memory, her memory, her memory is a throwback to the beautiful little dark-skinned girl on that porch in South Carolina. But they did not tell little dark-skinned girls, God, they were beautiful back then. My Lord, Ma thought only white people and light-skinned black people were good-looking. They did not tell little dark-skinned girls they could be anything, anything. So Ma thought her life was munching the raccoon meat, her desperate father shot and skin. Life, God, was daddy beating her and her three sisters and brother and her mother as if they were slaves on an auction block. Because life for every black person back then and now is one big beating. Ma thought life was signs and railroad tracks that told her where she could go. What her slip joints could not do was branded Tar Baby and Spade and Jigapoo and Spear Chucker. She was called, they called my mother, they called my mother, they called my mother ugly. 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 The white folks and the light-skinned black folks called my mother ugly because she was born tobacco brown like James Brown. Ma ain't know nothing about no sexism or no classism. Ma ain't know nothing about who Bell Hooks or Toni Morrison or Alice Walker. But she knew. My mama knew, guys. Yes, she knew. Yes, she knew. She knew. My mama knew. She was silly. She was silly. She was silly. Before silly. Before silly. Before silly. Was silly in the color purple. To this day, I believe my mother loves Whoopi Goldberg because when my mom sees Whoopi in the movies, she sees herself crashing through the broken glass of a dream deferred. This God is why black people got therapy sessions we name field hollers and spirituals, the underground railroad, the blues, jazz, church, dance, the chilling circuit, prayer circles, funk, hip hop, holy ghost, barbershop, hair salon, black theater, talking in tongues, laughter, the soul food. Between our chain angles, Lord, we transmitted us with us from Africa to the plantations. My mom, my mom, my mom, my mom be saying, my mom be saying, we don't know nothing about no Africa. We ain't no African. My mom don't know Africa is all up in her. Whenever she talks about the fish, she gonna lather and try, cry, Lord, about the chocolate gate cake that she crowns with pecans, about potato salad, she punctuates with sweet pickles, about the wild and buttery cornbread surrounded in lasso, Lord, from scratch. Dear God, food is my mother's best friend because my mom ain't got no friends except her sister Kathy and me. Food is my mother's best friend, but the food has left my mother's body wretched, like the planet with diabetes and high blood pressure, with mysterious things, God, she won't discuss. Dear mother, 
You are real mysterious. Take it down. Take it down. Dear mother. Take it down. Dear mother. Dear mother. Dear mother. You are real mysterious. Take it down. With all those doctor visits. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You got mothers and fathers like this. Take it down. Take it down, y'all. Take it down. Dear mother, you are real mysterious with all those doctor visits. Like you are a blow-legged, bow-legged root woman plotting poachers while lurking behind a sable palm tree. Dear mother, you are real mysterious with the inflamed whip marks of your past held hostage in your bedroom drawer. Dear mother, you are real mysterious while heavy living room curtains smother your sunlight and your loneliness. But you are not alone, ma. You are not alone. We are moon twins. We are moon twins. We are moon twins. Emotionally eating our way to the promised land. You told me, Ma, that food is your happiness. And you told me, Mother, please do not take away your happiness. I will not, Mother. I will not. I see your beauty and your genius in the way you boil the water, the way you season the food, and the way you create kitchen magic as you did when I was a boy. I smell the joy. I smell the joy. I smell the joy on your house dress. I sense the divine God. I sense it. I, I sense it. I feel it, God. With my mother, with my mother, I feel the divine. I sense the divine when she sucks on that chicken bone. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. When the time God comes, God. When the time comes for God to look herself in the mirror, when the time comes for for God to look herself in the mirror, when the time comes for God to look herself in the mirror, she will see you, she will see you, she will see my mother. Maybe the following week in the next month, you know.